Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there? This is me Asis Johan from Asphere Creation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create like a boy standing in the grass field like photo manipulation, like a very moody photo manipulation in Photoshop. Before getting to the Photoshop, just press the like button on this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then do subscribe and press the bell icon so that it will get notified whenever I post new video. And if you haven't, uh, you know, check out my website then just go and check it out that is www.aswarecreations.com from there you can find new background png camera preset lightroom preset every kind of photo editing stuff for free so go and check it out and don't forget to follow me on instagram so let's jump to the photoshop open the photoshop and open the photo which you want to get edited now let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool and just click on this plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in the perfect way this you can this actually needs a very lot of time to make the subject to cut out that in a perfect way so you can also use the pen tool to select the subject you can select this minus icon to deselect this portion now i have already cut out that subject so just right click on it and see like clear a copy option or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make the duplication of the selection so here you can see we have already cut out the image of the subject now all you're gonna do is just go to the file, click on open and just add the background in this uh, photograph. So let's browse the background. Let's open this background. Now all you're gonna do is just drag it and drop over here. Now all you will do is just, uh, will just remove this person from here. So just to select this person, right click on it and select fill and content over. So you will see the magic. The person would be totally disappeared from the photograph. So now all you're gonna do is just place this background in the perfect way. Press Ctrl T from the keyboard to enlarge the image. And just place it somewhere over here. And just uh, Make the duplication of this uh, background layer. Select this background layer and just go to the filter. Select blur and just go to the blur box blur. And just make it to around 40%. Don't do too much. Just 30 or 40 would be per pretty much okay. So just to make it this much blur. Now let's add the PNGs of the grass on the photograph. So let's just select the PNG grass files and just drag and drop over here and just press ctrl d to enlarge the image now we'll just place this uh, about the subject here again just press ctrl d to enlarge it and you can just press it uh, place somewhere over here the very first thing all we're gonna do is just duplicate this layer by right clicking on it and select duplicate layer and just place this layer below the subject layer and press ctrl T just press ctrl T and just decrease the size of it now just go to the filter select blur then just select box blur and just to make the radius to around well, let's select the Gaussian blur from there now just blur it a bit to around 4.5 or 5 percent would be pretty much okay now just to keep this uh, file png of the image you can decrease the size of this now let's just uh, press ctrl u on this file sorry on this layer I will change the color of the grass to around greenish color it should match with the background now the same thing we will do over here press ctrl alt u so it will just uh, again just 
take the previous adjustment which we have made now just go to the filter select blur then just make the Gaussian blur and just blur it a more and just press control or just you know place it somewhere over here on the ground yes now this would be pretty much okay now let's add some more grass png on this image just drag it and drop over here place it below the subject layer and just press ctrl to u and just press ok and you can just uh, decrease or increase the size of it from here go to the filter select blur and just select the Gaussian blur and just make it to around 3% or somewhere all near about 3% you can place it somewhere over here or if you don't want to place it then you can also just keep it as it is now let's just merge all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers so it will just merge all the layers from here just make uh, just select the crop tool from here and just press enter and we will do the minor adjustment don't do too much of you know color grading just go to the filter select camera filter from there and let's give some kind of you know loots and or effects to the photograph So first of all we will just add some Vignetti on the image Now let's go to the SL tab and just adjust the color of the image make it to yellowish color If you want to give teal orange color then we have already made some kind of you know user presets of this so you no need to have to make a you know teal orange preset but here we don't have to make any kind of adjustment on the photograph just make it as it is only edit a minor let's increase the shadows just dip increase some bit little bit of clarity and just press ok now we will just add some kind of loot on the photograph so let's go to the color lookup select any kind of loot from here let's select this loot you can just decrease the opacity of it to around 50% now it, this is looking very much per, pretty much perfect now just merge all the, all the layers from here right click on it and select merge layers 
And now all you gotta do is just add a little bit of tint of light on the shoulder of the subject. So just select the brush tool and just you know select the orange color from here and just to make a one stroke of it press ctrl t to enlarge it now change the blending mode to screen and you can place it somewhere over here so the you know green is uh, yellow is light is shown on the region of here just merge all the both the layers right click on it and select merge layers again crop the image so here we have finally edited our image so here you can see the before and after effect it is really looking very moody and you know perfect photo manipulation for your instagram photograph well thank you for watching guys if you guys have enjoyed the video then just press the like button on this video and if you still haven't subscribed the channel then do subscribe and just press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i post new video and log on to our website that is www.asterequations.com from there you can find new background preset, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff for free. So go and check it out that website and thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.